Hello there. This video I'm going to show you right now. If you have an OBD Bluetooth adapter which is the ELM327 and you're using a Torque Pro application on your Android device but it's not working although it's connected as you can see I have a profile of my car and the information shows here that the uh, adapter is connected to the ECU and also on my phone but when I try to rev the engine show it to you on the Torque Pro application it's not responding and it says no data okay I will show you how to fix this problem for as long as you know the correct information about your car and make sure you create a profile of your car on your Torque application you're good to go and also try to check on your uh, car manufacturer regarding what the information about the uh, protocols for your uh, ECU or the ECU of your car in order for you to uh, make this work okay my ELM327 is already connected and it has power on it as you can see and this is my torque application on my Android phone you can see there it shows on the uh, uh, information about the rev or the RPM it says it says no data so it means it's not receiving anything from the ECU of this car even if I try to uh, put a gas on it it's not responding even if we go to the uh, main console of this application everything is not working see intake math throttle everything is blank even the coolant is not showing anything only the voltmeter will be the one working but on the revs and the load there's nothing on it okay I tried to play around with this particular application in order for me to um, make it work and I was lucky to um, get some information from the car manufacturer who uh, was able to discuss and give information about what is the correct uh, protocol in order for this uh, particular car to communicate with any other uh, third-party um, application and also uh, dongle or any particular scanning uh, apparatus or the um, tool in order for it to work see that's the only one working so we're gonna make it work okay what we're gonna do first is go back to the main uh, menu and since I already have a profile created for this car it's a uh, by the way this is a Hyundai Stavex 2002 it has a diesel engine so we're gonna go to the to, to, to the setting and open the vehicle profile. Try to edit. Okay, all of the informations that you have, if you already created one, you don't have to change anything. But the only thing you need to change this one for this one, a particular apl application is on the bottom part of this uh, information. It says here preferred. OBD protocol so it shows the current one it says ISO 4230-4KWP it says fast but unfortunately while using this protocol nothing seems to be working nothing is responding at all so we're gonna, we're gonna change this one right now the um, correct protocol for this particular car is ISO 91 41-2 5B in it 10.4 so we're gonna select that and we're gonna save it okay 
the adapter will be reconnecting back again to this application and let's try to see if there's going to be some changes if not we're going to relaunch the application to see if it's going to work okay it still shows it shows we're connected but take a look the rev just suddenly shows that is already uh, connected to my car it shows the rev is not showing no data anymore but it shows here it's the figure is 750 rpm so let's try to see if it's gonna work so we'll take a look on the application and take a look on the uh, left hand side of the screen see it's kind of slow but it will get to that part where it's going to be syncing uh, to the application because I just uh, recently uh, selected that uh, particular protocol so once Engine I refresh, operating temperature has been reached see a while ago it's not responding but, but right now it just told me that the car has already reached its uh, uh, operating temperature so it's not working so let's go to the main uh, application and see other information that is that is a while ago not showing anything okay here's a better view see okay that's good okay so a while ago this one doesn't show any uh, figures and right now we're getting progress see the intake is showing 30 uh, degrees Celsius and the EMF for the mass airflow is now showing 15.2 intake is 2.8 psi and now the coolant reads 71 degrees Celsius see so that's how you uh, that's how you uh, fix the problem if you ever buy one of these ELM327 and uh, some information will not be available for you once you buy this because there's no specific manual for it or it doesn't even have a uh, information or disclaimer from the seller so you gotta uh, discover it by yourself so hopefully this video will help you and uh, don't worry because even if you select a different protocol it doesn't change anything on the ECU what the application does is communicate with the dongle or the ELM327 for the correct information of, of how it communicates to it so even if you select different kind of protocol to this application to torque even if it's not ISO 9141 you just have to play around with it and as, as, as long as you're able to get the correct protocol for your car you have to stick to it and if you change anything on it make sure you save it so that once you unplug your ELM adapter and you plug it back again, it's going to be the same thing. So it's not going to change anything on the ECU or the computer box. This is going to be an application for diagnostic and checking the um, stats of the sensors of your car. So that's exactly what this particular Bluetooth dongle is doing right now. So it doesn't create any uh, kind of modification on the ECU or, you know, some people would think this one would uh, act like a chip tuning device but it's not it's only a diagnostic tool that can scan your uh, sensors of your car and also to uh, check some error codes and also get rid of it and so far let's try to check if we have a error code and I don't think I will have one because uh, it's already fixed And by the way, make sure to uh, get the paid application Torque Pro because there's a lot of information and a lot of uh, features uh, in it. Uh, you can download the light version, but there will there will there will be some uh, only a few sensors that will be working, and not all will be available for you. So, in order for you to uh, maximize the use of this particular application, you have to. Uh, buy the paid one okay so um, we're good to go now so everything's working fine just make sure to follow the information that I've given you and if you like my video just like uh, 
and also subscribe if you want